Hi, my name is Kevin Blanche. I'm going to teach you how to trade a derivative, what a derivative is, what a credit default swap is, and how the whole thing works in less than three minutes. I'm going to package in little, literally decades of knowledge, all your reading you do, all the information you do, school businesses you attend, whatever. I'm going to pack it in in three minutes and basically show you what it is. My name is Kevin Blanche. I've been basically a construction worker for 35 years, but I did graduate from a top 10 school business, and I have the last letter recommendation the legendary Clyde Cooley ever wrote. So here we go. Bang, go. Three markets. The first market we have is the equity market, which is the stock market. The second market we have is the commodity market, which is future corn, grain, sugar, pork bellies, all of it. The third market we've created is the mortgage market. Okay, we're going to discuss what derivatives are. We're going to do it quickly here. Okay, the commodity market, which is the futures market. Sugar, grain, wheat, corn, pork bellies, all of it is a derivatives market. You don't actually go buy sugar, corn, wheat when you invest in this. You buy a futures contract. The futures contract, basically what you're buying is percent change over time. You're buying time. You're making a bet whether the price of that will go higher or lower. And you're playing against time in a percentage of time. So basically what you're buying in the derivatives market, you're buying percent change over time. You're buying time. The commodity market, which is a major huge market in this country, is a complete derivative market. It's all derivatives. You don't buy it, you buy a derivative. A future contract is a derivative. Okay, let's move over to the equity market. The equity market is the stock market. When you buy a stock, you actually buy a piece of the company. Okay, so you buy IBM, you actually are a shareholder, you actually own a piece of it. The options market is the derivative market for the stock market. You don't actually buy the stock, it's like the commodity market. You are making a bet whether the stock's going up or down. You're buying time. They expire every third Friday of every month. So you you know you can buy them all the way up. Calls up, puts down. So what are you buying? You are buying time. Percent change over time is how they're priced. So the derivatives market is the options market, the CBOEs, where they're trading Chicago Board of Options Exchange. The derivative market is again like the commodity markets and futures bet. Okay, let's move to the new market. We created this new mortgage market through all the subprime mortgage. Okay, so what happened? What a credit default swap is a derivative that trades in this market. It's a new market. It was created over the last 10 years. This derivatives market was created by banks between each other. It's no different than a futures contract. It's no different than an option. It's a credit default swap. You buy up or down. So what these people were doing, buying these packages and they're making bets whether it was going up or down. Or, in theory, hedging. They were hedging their position. They were holding this, so they were buying puts. So that's what a credit default swap is. It's not, nothing more than a futures contract on a commodity. An option is on an equity. A credit default swap is on a mortgage because we have this huge subprime mortgage market that these banks trade among each other, so they created it just like the futures market was they created to hedge risk for cattle farmers and ranchers, wheat farmers, and it turns into a liquid market where it's traded. Same with the options market on equities. So that's what they are. Again, my name is Kevin Blanche. I've basically been a plaster for 35 years. I raised three daughters. The youngest just turned 18. If you're a hedge fund manager out there or you're in the journalism business, whatever, I am looking for a new job. Don't call me and say, hey, send me your resume. My phone number is 801-866-8956. I waited until my last daughter turned 19 years old. She just turned 19. I spent the last 28 years raising my three daughters, and they turned out great. But I graduated from top in school business. I had the last letter of recommendation the legendary finance professor Clyde Cooley ever gave out. And I stepped in when his untimely demise happened in 2000. He died untimely. It had a rare brain disease. I stepped in and taught his class. And that was before I ever had an MBA. So again, Kevin Blanche.